Does your air conditioner struggle to keep up? Are you tired of it constantly running? Is your electric bill spiraling out of control? These can all be side effects of dirty coils on your air conditioner's outdoor condensing unit. Stay tuned because I'm going to be showing you how to perform a simple AC maintenance step yourself that can save you 10 or even 20% off your electric bill and allow you to enjoy a more comfortable home. Let's get to it. What's up everyone? Dan here again with Reality Renos and today I'm going to be showing you how to clean the coils on your air conditioner's outdoor condensing unit yourself. Please contain your excitement until the end of this video. Air conditioners operate on a phenomenon whereby a gas which is compressed produces heat and when it expands it extracts heat or in other words it turns its surroundings cold. So the outdoor unit compresses a refrigerant gas which as I just mentioned produces heat that heat is radiated to the outdoor environment via coils before the refrigerant then moves to the indoor unit and is allowed to expand, extracting heat and cooling the air, which is being circulated through your house by a fan. Voila, cold conditioned air. So it stands to reason that if the radiator coils on the outdoor condensing unit are dirty and blocking the flow of air, that the heat generated from the compressed refrigerant will be dissipated less efficiently and therefore the air in the indoor unit will be cooled less effectively when the refrigerant expands. So with all that boring educational physics stuff out of the way, let's get to cleaning and saving you money. For this project, in addition to a few tools and supplies most already have around the house, I used a coil cleaning brush. While handy, you can probably get by without the brush. What you should not skip is coil cleaning spray. This spray breaks down dirt and grime to help thoroughly clean the delicate coil fins. I ended up using two cans for my mid-size condenser. First things first, safety. As always, make sure you turn off the power to your air conditioner at the service disconnect or the breaker. I also suggest wearing gloves as there are often sharp corners or edges which may otherwise cut you. Next, grab yourself an appropriate driver, typically quarter inch hex on residential air conditioners. As you can see, I have an electric one, but you can certainly do this by hand as well. I also stole, or uh, borrowed, a small bowl for my wife to hold all the screws so they don't go missing. Begin by removing all the screws holding the coil guards in place. Note that your guard may be made of heavy gauge wire rather than the full louvered panels like you see on mine. A word of caution, be extremely careful when performing this step as the coil fins are easily bent. And if you puncture the coil with the screw or your driver, the entire coil will need to be replaced. Now that all the guards have been removed, begin gently brushing dirt and dust off of the surface of the coil fins. If you don't have a coil cleaning brush like me, you can try using a small soft bristled broom or perhaps a stiff bristled paintbrush. Whatever your tool, just be careful to not apply too much pressure as I cannot overstate how easily the fins can be bent. Make sure to clean all four sides as best as you can, though don't worry too much about the large clumps at this point. They'll be removed in the next step, vacuuming. Next, grab your vacuum and a soft bristled brush attachment. The brush attachment is required as hard plastic will almost certainly bend the coil fins. I use the shop vacuum, but just about any vacuum with the hose will do. Gently vacuum any remaining dirt and dust from the fins, as well as around the base. While not quite as critical as removing the dirt from the fins, if you feel comfortable doing it, go ahead and lift the fan and vacuum out dirt and leaves which have fallen inside the condensing unit. Having a second person help hold the fan while you vacuum may be necessary. If you don't feel confident you can perform this step without damaging the coils, skip it and hire a professional to deep clean your unit once every couple of years. You'll still be saving money and helping your air conditioner operate at maximum efficiency by regularly cleaning the outside of the unit yourself. Next up is the coil cleaning spray. I suggest wearing rubber gloves and safety glasses while performing this step. While you should follow the directions on the can, for the most part all the ones in a spray can work in a similar manner. Thoroughly saturate all the coils with the spray and then allow it to sit for 10 minutes while it breaks down all of the dirt and grime. Then simply rinse it off with a gentle spray from the hose.
I would suggest cleaning your coils at least once a year. If you live in a climate where you run your air conditioning nine months out of the year like we do, twice a year would likely be beneficial. The condenser sits outside, so it's obviously fairly water resistant. That said, try not to directly spray the panel covering the electronics. If your unit has louvered panels like mine, give them a quick rinse as well to remove most of the dirt and dust. Cleaning is now complete, so we can reassemble the coil guards. In my case, I have to attach the corners first, as they have a slot into which the flat side panels fit. Obviously, yours may be different. Again, be very careful when performing this step to not bend the coil fins, and be particularly cautious to not puncture the coil with a screw or your driver. Now that all of the guard panels are back in place, I gave my unit a final quick rinse to remove any dirt which may have collected while I was putting it back together. I then turned the power to the condenser back on from the service disconnect, went inside to turn the air conditioning back on at the thermostat, then came back outside for a quick visual inspection to ensure the condenser was running and nothing was loose. Here are some graphs showing our family's energy consumption. The middle one is for just our air conditioner, and the arrow I just placed on the screen marks the day I completed the coil cleaning. As you can see, there was a significant reduction in energy consumption, and compensating for outdoor temperature, the savings tallied up to a little more than 20%, which, in our case, comes out to about $30 a month. Not bad for an hour's worth of work. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let us know down in the comments how well this worked for you. If you'd like to help support this channel, please consider subscribing, and don't forget to click that little bell icon so you're notified every time we post additional helpful DIY videos. We'll see you next time.